Hey kids, welcome to lesson two, multi-screen apps, making and using multiple screens. We're gonna get into the fun stuff now, kids. You may imagine a typical app has a number of screens or views that users go through as part of using your app. Below is a typical example. We have a welcome screen, a screen that plays a game, and then a game over screen. Over the next couple of lessons, this is what we're gonna work on. Initially, it's just going to be some random screens we're going to flip back and forth to. Finally, we're going to take our version 1.0 of our game and turn it into version 2.0 with multiple screens. Sounds fun, huh? Let's dive right into it. Part 1, Design Mode. Adding a screen. Now you try it. Add a new screen and a button to the app we've started here. Note, we've created one screen for you, the Hello screen. You need to add a new screen. The new screen should look something like the example shown to the right. Looks like we have some steps here. We're going to drag out screen from the design toolbox or choose new screen from the pull down menu at the top of the app display. We're going to set a background color. It doesn't have to be orange like this example, but the browns played so well this year, we're going to keep it orange. We're going to add a button. A simple button is fine but you can embellish it with an icon if you want. Really be creative as you want. Optional, you can also add a text label saying goodbye. You can click run, but you're not gonna see very much. That's because we haven't added any code yet. All you'll see is the default hello screen. You won't have any way to see the orange screen when the app is running. We're gonna click finish to move on to the next level where we're gonna add the code. Note. You can continue to work on your design on the next level too. This seems pretty straightforward. We're gonna add a second screen, add a button, change the background color. I'm not gonna add any code yet. How do we do that? First thing I'm gonna do is go down to my design toolbar here and I see screen right below images. I'm just gonna drag this right up here. Now we have another screen. I'm going to call this screen two. We can go back to screen one by clicking on it. Right now it's labeled hello screen. That really isn't too meaningful to me. So I am going to name it screen one. So screen one will be our splash screen. Screen two is where we're going to have our orange background and go back. So now that I'm on screen two, we can pick our background color by selecting it. Let's go to an orange color. Let's click around a little, looks a little darker. That looks pretty close to me. Both are orange. So I am pretty happy with my background color. Let's go ahead and add a button. Button is going to say go back. I'm going to change my ID right now to go back so I know which button it is just in case we start adding multiple things. Text is going to say go back, exclamation point. And let's go down here and increase the font size. You can see it's already going off the screen. Let's just click and drag it a little bigger. Let's go up to 28. At this point, we need to center the button. If you look up here, it's 170. Let's work with some nice round numbers. From our previous lessons, in the X direction, it is 320. Half of that is 160. Half of 200 is 100. If you subtract 100 from 160, you will get 60 for your X position. In the Y position, it is 450 pixels long. Divide that in half, it is 225. If we subtract 60 from 225, we get 165. Right there is our centered button. So it's on 60 here. If we come over here, we can just double check our math. 260 plus 60 is 320, so this screen is perfectly centered. At this point, if I look back to my instructions, I added a new screen. 
set a background color, and added a button. There really isn't too much I can do right now because I don't have any code. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead just to click run so we can finish. Code.org thinks we're all finished. Good job, kids. Let's move on to the next lesson so we can add some buttons. Number two, adding code, switching screens with set screen. You try it. Add event handlers to the buttons that use set screen to switch to the other screens. The result should be two screen at which can switch back and forth between the hello and go back screens. See the example at the right. If we look at our example, looks like if we click on our smiley face here, it'll take us to our orange background go back. If we click go back, it goes back to the hello screen. We renamed ours to screen one, so ours is gonna flip back and forth between screen one and screen two. Add an on event handler for the smiley face image button to respond to a click. Do it the easy way by inserting from design mode or just drag an on event block onto the code workspace. Add set screen into the event handling function. Make it switch to the other screen when the smiley face is clicked. Run, test, debug. Test to see if clicking the smiley face switches screens. If it doesn't work, retrace your steps and try again. If it does work, then repeat these steps for the go back button. The result should look something like the example on the right. Again, back here, just clicking back and forth. Currently, we have no code whatsoever down here. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Let's start by dragging out an event handler here. I know if I wanna click my smiley face, so smiley face click, I wanna to go to the other screen. So I'm gonna set that screen to screen two. On event, smiley face is clicked, set screen to screen two. Screen two is our second screen, our orange background. Here's where things may get a little difficult for you. We're gonna have multiple screens with multiple things on them but we only have one workspace to code. So everything has to go here. Sometimes students struggle a little with this. You think you have different screens, so you should have different workspaces, but it does not work that way. You have to stack everything up at once. To do that, I'm just gonna drag over another event handler. This time, I wanna click on the go back button, and I wanna set the screen to screen one. Code says, on event, the smiley face is clicked, set screen to screen two. On event, go back is clicked, set screen to screen one. Currently, if I hit run, I should be able to flip back and forth between these two screens. Let's see if that works. Here's my smiley face, let's click on it. We go to go back, uh-oh. It says screen ID for parameter one does not exist. What was wrong there? It was a lowercase s. That was all that was wrong with it. So if you look at the s and I undo, it just says screen one, but screen one has a capital S. So if I go back to my design and I look at screen one, capital S right there. That really should be lowercase, so let's change it right there. So we can come back here and change it in our code. Let's go ahead and hit run, click smiley face, go back. Smiley face, go back. Smiley face, go back. Code seems to be working pretty well now. Make sure your IDs are something meaningful. This kind of problem happens all the time. You wanna be able to go quickly back to it and see what is wrong. I believe that's all code.org wanted me to do. Let's hit finish and see. Hey, good job kids. Let's move on to the final project of lesson two.